Welcome to this Draw My Life About It. This is a shape-shifting creature. It can morph into your worst fears, thus why it is named It. Its most common form is that of a circus performer named Pennywise the Dancing Clown. It has a white face and there's funny tufts of orange hair in either side of his bald head. It is dressed as a real clown, but when he changes his appearance, he also has claws and very sharp brown teeth. He uses to attract children with colorful balloons and his famous quote, Do you want a balloon? They float. Other evil characters have a legend or a real story behind it, but It is a product of the imagination of Stephen King. The author created it as the main character of this new novel, It, in 1986. In the 90s, a miniseries created by the ABC was the first adaptation of the novel. Stephen King said that he got inspired by the real story behind The Killer Clown. John Wayne Gacy was a clown performer at children's parties. He killed 33 boys and young men between 1972 and 1978. He was sentenced to death. Stephen King's novel follows the experiences of seven children, forming the Losers Club, as they are terrorized by an evil clown that exploits the fears and phobias of its victims. The Losers decide to put an end to it, and the clown was seriously injured during the battle. The losers swear a blood oath to return to Derry should it rise again in the future. Thirty years later, Mike calls the members of the Losers Club because they should return if the killings start again. The group will confront the clown again. Nevertheless, it wasn't as easy as they thought. In the course of the story, the clown kills several people. One of them was one of the losers' brothers, the little George Dembro. Furthermore, it likes to scare people especially when they are alone. But what are its origins? Stephen King wanted it to look like a demon, a creature that has always lived in the same town, that's why it's never left Derry, a little town in the state of Maine. It originated in a void outside the regions of space, known as the Macroverse. It arrived on Earth in a massive cataclysmic event, landing in a location that would eventually become Derry. Once people settled over his location, it adopted his usual pattern of a 30-year hibernation, waiting to kill and eat. Each waking and return to hibernation is sometimes marked by a violent act, such as a mass murder or weather event. However, it is not alone. His greatest enemy is called Turtle. It is an embodiment of good, the creator of the universe. The turtle will help children fight against it. It changes shape in several times. It turns into a giant raven, a werewolf, a mummy, a huge eye, a shark, a giant spider and a lot more. As we said before, the miniseries is an adaptation of the novel, so they change a few things. For example, the character that appears in the book, called Patrick Hawksetter, doesn't exist in the miniseries. He was a bully that killed his brother. The turtle doesn't exist either in the miniseries, and there are a lot of sexual or violent scenes that have been omitted. After the miniseries became very popular in the 90s, and also the evil clown, a lot of people decided to wear this kind of costume for scaring people at home or in the street. Nowadays, it is not that common, but maybe, after releasing the remake of the movie, this evil clown can become popular again. Would you be able to overcome your worst fears? If you like this Draw My Life about it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Tell us in the comment section down below what would you like to watch next. Bye!